Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here, given uh, given f of x equals blah 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 here, find f find f double prime of x. So f double prime of x means you you um, you differentiate this twice. Okay, so so you would differentiate y, differentiate it once. That will give you um, f prime of x. But really, I want to know f double prime of x. So basically, differentiate this twice. Okay, so um, press pause and uh, and have a go. Find Find f double prime of x. Okay, press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this here, visualize this thing as um, as one thing here, which is this thing here, uh, times times uh, times one over. Um, so 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 basically, visualize this whole thing here as one block multiplying another block here. Okay, and uh, and this one here, visualize it as one block multiplying. This block here, so so visualize visualize this as this. Okay, so so if you um so so this thing here, remember from our from our section on indices, um if 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 whenever you have x to the power of minus something, you we don't really understand what it means to have a um, to a power of a minus four, so we immediately jump to one over x to the power of positive four. So here we are here. So now we are. We we are pretty much jumping backwards here. So when, whenever you whenever you see this, you're allowed to do you're allowed to do this here. Okay. Um, so 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 um, right from the start, visualize this thing here as this. Okay. And then uh, and then once you're in this form here, visualize it as this. And now now you can differentiate it. So um, so now if, if you differentiate it, remember this minus four here. Gets multiplied right here. So, so take this down, which is this, and then times minus four, and then remember that the the minus four itself here gets minus one. So it's, it becomes x to the power of minus five, and then and then when you try and differentiate this, it pretty much becomes this. So um, so f prime becomes this thing here, okay, and then um, and then tidy it up. So this gets multiplied to the top, so it becomes this, and then uh, blah blah blah. So this whole thing here becomes this thing here. And now differentiate it again once. Um, yeah, so so differentiate it again because we're we're trying to find out f double prime. At the moment, it's only f prime. We want f double prime. So from here, differentiate it again once. So again, this five here gets multiplied down here. So that's so, so the minus five is here, and then, and then the minus five here, you, you minus it once again. So, oops. So you, um, so you, so you would get minus six. And then when you try and differentiate this, this is just a constant. When you differentiate the constant, you get nothing. So you can think of it as minus zero, but but minus zero is pretty much zero. So when you differentiate this, it will give you this. Okay. Um, and then, and then this gets multiplied to the top, so that will give you that will give you sixty. Um, that will give you sixty. Oops, hang on. Um, that will give you that will give you sixty over two. Well, sixty over two becomes becomes thirty. Thirty. Okay. So um, so overall it becomes that. And then uh, and then just to tidy up, um, this thing here is really one over x to the power of six. So you can you can visualize as this, and then um, and then this thirty gets multiplied to the top, so it becomes this. Okay. All right. Next one here. Find. Oops. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Find. Um, hang on. Uh, next one here. So r equals um, r equals blah 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 here. Find dr. Uh, find dr by d theta. Okay. So. Um, Press pause and uh, and have a go. Okay, so to do this here, um, visualize this as um, um, so 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 visualize this here as uh, as this. You got a two multiply uh, two multiply one over theta. Well, one over theta that's the same as uh, as theta to the power of minus one. So visualize this thing here as two. Times uh, uh, theta to the power of minus one, and you can use the same technique for for this one here. 
you can use the same technique for this one here. So visualize this thing as a 3 times a, um, a 1 over theta squared. Well, uh, 1 over theta squared is really uh, theta to the power of minus 2. So this thing here, you can visualize it as, as this thing here. And uh, this thing here, you can visualize it as this thing here. Okay. Once it's in this form here, you can um, you well this here gets multiplied um, down down to here, so so it becomes minus two here, and then and then the minus one itself gets minus one, so that will become minus two, and then this two here gets multiplied down here, so it's minus three times minus two, so that will give you a positive six, and then the minus two itself gets minus one, so um, so it becomes that. And then this 3 here gets multiplied down here, so that will give you minus 12. And minus 3 minus 1, that will give you minus 4. Okay, so, so d, dr by theta equals this thing here. Now it's just a matter of tidying it up. So, um, so um, yeah, so when you tidy up, it will look like this. Blah, blah, blah. Okay? So, uh, so dr by theta equals, um, equals this whole thing here.